In this video, I'll show you how I built a super simple, sturdy pull-up bar. You'll need two flanges and a threaded pipe. I chose one that was 48 inches long. Make sure to check the threads before you bring it home in case they're damaged. The next thing you'll need is four two by fours. I went ahead and got a fifth one in case I were to make a mistake. And now with one of those boards, I'm just checking to see how high I want this pull-up bar. I'm six feet tall and I found that eight feet works for me. And then right here, I'm just checking to see how far I want that pull-up bar to sit from the wall. So I chose three feet there. And the first thing you'll do is screw these flanges onto the pipe. Make sure to get them as tight as you can. And then the next thing you'll do is you'll get a measurement from end to end on the flanges there. And so depending on how tight you got the flange, your measurement may be different. Mine was 48 and 5 eighths. So now I'm making a mark on a board at 48 and 5 eighths. And I'm going to cut that. And since I wanted my pull-up bar three feet from the wall, I'm going to make a mark and uh, cut two boards at three feet. And now I'm attaching those two three-foot boards to the ends of that 48-inch board. And I'm just gonna attach those with two screws on each side. And this part will be mounted to the wall. So what I did was I went and found the studs on my wall and now I'm just pre-drilling a few screws where those studs are gonna be. That way I don't have to do that while I'm holding this thing above my head. And so I'm also going to attach a block to the wall so that I can rest one side on that while I fight with the other. And I'm gonna put a level on here. I've decided just to tape it so that I don't have to worry about it falling off. So now what I can do is rest one side on that block that I put on the wall, and I can just move the other side up and down to make sure that it's level. So once it's level, I'll just attach it to the studs with these screws that are already started. And now we're going to put the post on the ends here. I'm just gonna put one screw on each side because the screws that go through the flange on the pull-up bar actually will penetrate both boards. So now I'm just gonna put one screw on one side and then go over to the other side and put all four screws in. And then I'll go back to the first side and put the rest of the screws in. And that's pretty much it. So that is how I built a super simple pull-up bar. It only cost me about $50. There's only three holes in the wall. So if you're in a rental, this is a good option. And it is super sturdy. So um, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.